Hello everyone, this is Gwydion, and today I'm going to show you how to apply noise reduction to your microphone so that it actually affects any communications program that you're using. Because clearly, if you're using Discord as an example, you could apply noise reduction using the filters within Discord, but it would only affect Discord. But what if you're also streaming on OBS? And what if you're using Skype or Zoom or TeamSpeak? then you'd have to have a, a different solution. So using only free programs, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your mic so that the noise reduction applies uh, really a, upon startup. So anytime you're using your mic, it'll apply automatically. So the important programs that you're gonna need is this does assume that you use OBS and I'll show you why or explain why that's important. It's really more important because uh, the program that we're going to be using to affect your mic and apply noise reduction, which is called Equalize a APO, you can't you, you can't tweak it in real time and see the changes, and, and I'll show you that as we get into the video. So it's just important to note that you need uh, OBS to use this as well. So let's jump right in. So the first program that you're going to need to apply, and let me get to the main program here, summary, is Equalizer APO. So you're going to download this, install it, and once you install it, then um, you, know, you might have to reboot your system, but make sure you get that installed. So the next program, actually, before we get to the next program, I'm going to close this out. I want to give a shout out, shout out to the Francois, and I found him a few years ago, and he was actually doing some really cool videos on Equalizer APO. So if you want to get a really detailed view of everything you can do with Equalizer APO, then I would encourage you to check out his YouTube channel. He also has a great Discord. Um, I'll post links to his YouTube channel in the description below. So thanks to Francois, you've been awesome. Appreciate you. Uh, the next uh, program or website uh, you're gonna need to go to is uh, Rhea Plugs. So Rhea Plugs is a VST suite of plugins and what what this does if you go to this site um, don't download reaper that's the full program but um, the rea plugs are intended to be used with digital audio workstation or daws and it, initially it was set up for reaper which is a daw but you can use it in in ableton live or you know a whole host of other daws what we're going to use today is we're gonna download the actual Rhea Plugs VST, which are audio plugins. So once you click on the uh, link that's appropriate for your system, I have a 64-bit system, so I'll download this. You're gonna download and install these plugins and then we'll be ready to go. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to click on the Start menu, find the Equalizer APO, and then look for the Configurator. Click on that, click yes. I'm gonna drag that over to my main screen. And it's gonna give you playback and capture devices. All I'm gonna set up today is my microphone. So I have a Blue Yeti mic. So that's uh, my microphone right here. I'm gonna click on the selection and then either install or okay or whatever pops up here. I've already got it installed. You'll notice you can apply this if you'd like to other programs or other devices. Same on the playback. If you want to like EQ your headset, there's a lot of different things you can do. But again, we're going to focus only on your mic and you might need to um, uh, reboot your system once you select this. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So then once you have that installed, let's open up Equalizer APO and it's already set up for your mic. So then we're going to go to the configuration editor. So this is something that the Francois will say if you watch his videos as well, but this always pops up. I know I've got this applied correctly, so you just need to X out of this. So when you open this up, you should get to the config.txt file, and this will most likely be blank for you. So what you're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up files to make sure that it uh, opens the file that's going to have the settings we are going to use to suppress noise on our mic. So if this is blank for you, you're going to hit this little green plus sign, control, and then include configuration uh, file. Or actually, sorry, we're going to start with device select. And then you're going to hit change, and then make sure you select your mic. I've already got it selected. Select your mic and hit OK. And then yours should show this, just like I do, whatever your mic is. And it should say APO installed. So for now, I'm going to delete this by hitting the down arrow. I don't need this here. 
So then what you need to do is you need to set up a file to include that's going to have the appropriate uh, sound suppression. So I'm going to hit file new and it's going to come up with an unsaved file. So let's just save that as uh, stream test two. I already started this before as a testing. So this will be blank. And then what you're going to do is hit the plus sign and plugins and you also make sure that you've also already installed the Reaper plugins. And so wherever those have installed, if you haven't done that, pause the video and, and go back and install the Rhea plugs. And then you're gonna click on VST plugin. It's gonna open a blank screen here or a, a blank file, click on file and go to Rhea gate. That's what you're gonna need to install. So your files, just to step back for a second, when you install the Rhea plugs, no, most likely it'll be in Windows, your, your um, hard drive, program files, VST plugins, and then you'll see them here. Um, most plugins have a .dll extension. So you can see I have some others in here. Here are the RIA plugs and here they all are. So find the gate and again open and you've got it here. So um, the other uh, area they might be just quickly is program files Steinberg who was actually the one I believe that created VST plugins. Hope I have that right. And so you, you might find them there too. So just find where you have the real plugs and then just install that standalone. Now you would open panel and you have all of these settings. And the one thing I would tell you is when you set this up and you could put apply automatically so any changes are effective, the, the only problem you're going to run into in Equalizer APO, because it's so light, if you, you don't see the volume that's happening right now, like my mic, normally you would see the volume come up and down here, but you can't see that in real time. If you change these, it will apply in real time, but you can't see it in real time. So what I do is I do this in OBS, you can see it. So let's X out of it for a second. So I'm going to go back to the config.txt file. So mine is set up, just so you, you can see, I'm opening this yeti.next or txt. This is what I have already on my program. So I've got the uh, RIA gate set up, and I've got um, a loud max, which is a limiter. So right now, that's affecting my, pro my uh, mic. So let's go into OBS for a second, and I'll show you. Get rid of the infinity. Enable we'll preview. So a lot of you may have your microphone and your audio set up. If you go to settings, you may just have the standard desktop and mic set up. What I do is I disable all that. And just so I can show you how you need to set this up, I set up my own individual sound profiles within OBS. How you would do that is you would come into your scene, whatever scene you're at, source, hit plus, audio input capture. And then you would set it up here, just go ahead and click OK. I'm not gonna do that, or you would hear double in my mic. So I don't wanna set that up again. But just, I've got one already named Gwid's mic. Then what you're gonna do is hit the little cog here and filters. So I'm already applying, um, I've, I'm applying some things to my mic right now to make it sound a little bit better. And it's, it's a, an outside plugin, but yours will be blank when you see this. So you can tell the only thing I have active right now is this nectar elements. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the plus sign, VST plugin, and let's call it um, Bria plug um, gate. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to open it. And so you're gonna go to this line here and you can see it's looking for all of the plugins that I have available. Now, quickly, I will show you. Ah, I don't have it open. Usually, it looks in those same uh, plugin folders, so VST, um, VST plugins or Steinberg folder. So that's what it's going to open up. So whatever you have loaded there, it'll find. So we'll go to the RIA gate standalone and open plugin interface. So now you can see this is actually um, affecting. Now, what I want to do, because I don't want these both going on at the same time, is I'm going to go back to my Rhea plugs, Yeti Nexter, sorry, my text folder, and I'm going to turn off my gate. So right now, since I turned off that gate, 
you should be hearing. If I stop talking for a second, you can see that anything, um, there's still going to be some hissing and some background noise. So I'll stop for a second. So you can see that wherever this threshold, this volume threshold is, I can decide how do I want to set this up. Now, there's a lot of things on here. So what I'm going to start with, just so you can hear me and make sure that we got some of the background noise out, I'm going to be quiet for a second and I'm going to set this main rear gate threshold above wherever the green line is. So because that's my like baseline background noise. So let me pause for a second. Okay, so now I put that at like minus 37. So that should be reducing or virtually eliminating the background noise that I have. Now, there's a lot of other sliders here. I'll explain them briefly, but there's a website that I would point you to, and I'll put it in the link description below, Music on a Mission. But this is great because it really talks through, I know I'm flipping through this quickly, what everything is open, close, look ahead. So all the things that are in this plugin, it kind of explains to you what they are. So as an, as an example, um, attack, the time it takes to fully open the gate. So given this is audio and our voice, we want that to be super quick. Hold, so the minimum amount of time that the gate stays open before releasing so that it won't like pop open and close, open and close really quickly. So you'll want that to be a little bit more and then release. So how much will the volume lowered after the signal falls below the threshold? Those are kind of the main one. There's another one up here that's interesting that I turned off for now, but it's called hysteresis. It's almost like an extra setting. So like if I set a threshold at say like minus 20 decibels as to when it'll open, it, I can set it to where it won't close again until it goes to, or sorry, if I set it at minus 15 to open, it won't close until it falls below like minus 20. So there's, there's a lot of different functionality and settings. But in this case, what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna leave this right at minus 37, and then I can set my opening. So this is gonna look ahead. So this, this will be good to set just a little bit more and just so that it kind of looks ahead and it opens a little bit earlier so that when your voice comes on, it makes sure that you're getting your full voice. So you basically you can use this to check all of your settings, set it up, then take a screenshot of it. OK, take a screenshot of it so you know what to put into Equalizer APL. So let's close this. I'm going to turn this off because, again, I, I want to go back to Equalizer APL and I only want it to be effective in there. So let's close this. I'm gonna move this back over. Let's open Equalizer APO. So you probably hear some hiss again, but let's turn on the rear gate. Okay. So now what you can do is go in and with your screenshot, you can put this back to exactly what we had it. So let's say we wanted it, you know, I'm gonna leave mine at minus 31. This is how I like my settings. So you can look at mine if you're interested. Um, but you can toy with all of these. And again, you can change these in real time, apply automatically, and it'll affect your mic. One thing to be, pay attention to, particularly if you decide to add in a bunch of other plugins, is look down here. This will tell you um, how much it's taxing your system. What's the latency? What's the initialization time? And how much of the CPU is it being used? So what's important about that, like things like pre-open have a big impact on latency. So let's say we change mine and it's going to apply automatically from four milliseconds to say like 70. You can see the latency jumped way up. So it jumped up to 74. So if I go back down, so keep that 74 and back down to four, it's only 4.8. So that's it. I mean, you can add all kinds of plugins, all, all kinds of different things to it. But again, in your file, it's going to be make sure you have the Yeti mic and make sure you have whatever the TXT file. In our case, it was stream test. But go ahead and update it. And it's going to apply to any time that your mic is plugged in. If you want it off for some reason, you can just click these buttons. So if you don't want to include the file, unclick it. And click it so it's white if it's active it's it's a uh, uh, dark or black if if it's uh, inactive so that's it i hope this is helpful to all of you there's a lot of things you can do with this but it's really helpful to just as a simple way to eliminate the background noise and again once you've set this 
it's going to play anytime your mic's plugged in. So I uh, hope it's helpful. If you like it, give the video a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down and tell me why. And uh, um, I hope that uh, it's an easy way for, for you all to, uh, to update your microphone and uh, not have to mess with it in any other audio programs again. Remember, if you do this, if you're in something like Discord, I would suggest you turn off anything to, to do with noise suppression or noise effects within Discord, um, just, just so that you're not processing your voice twice. Hope that's helpful. And uh, for those of you that uh, use Fantasy Grounds, I, I hope to uh, see all of you at some point on the Fantasy Grounds forums. Thanks for watching.